functioning and working right. Okay, anybody else? <laughs> you've, got, you've got a question, my dear. Have you? Okay. Yeah, we'll do you afterwards. You've got this little girl first, and then... Uh... Excuse me, Dr. Ferguson. I just want to ask you, how do you stop um, um, people using inhalers when they were born with asthma? Because my dad how do has they, an Who's got it? My dad. Your dad's got he asthma? Was, he's born with it. He That's what I had. I had it. I haven't got it anymore. What you have to do is... The, the, body, the way the body works, the body adapts to things. So if you give it some... You, for instance, we can use the illustration of the, the wheelchair that I said before. Um, you put someone in a wheelchair, what happens to their back? Well, the back becomes weak. You, your lungs are feeling a little bit tight, and you start to take the inhaler. What, 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 I'll tell you what the inhaler does. The inhaler relaxes the muscles around the bron bronchial tubes. Yeah, it relaxes the, the muscles, but it doesn't take away the inflammation in the mucous membrane that's contained within that, that muscle structure. So the muscles are relaxed, so you feel that your asthma is better, but the mucus is still becoming inflamed, so it's fooling you into believing. And the more you take it, the more the mass becomes relaxed. Then what that does, it goes into your lungs, because you're taking that into your lungs, and it's weakening the alveoles, the sacs that are in your lungs. So the whole lung is becoming weaker and weaker and weaker. So what has to happen? Obviously, the blood has to be, that's going into the lungs needs to be um, cleansed and rehabilitated, given the right nutrients. And the lungs need to be rehabilitated and strengthened. And we've had lots of people that come to the clinic with asthma, and it's completely gone. They don't get the attacks anymore at all. So the lungs have to be rebuilt and rehabilitated. Also... It's a, it goes into your neurons. When you've had it for so long, and the false information that you get from the chemical people, the people that deal with chemicals, pharmaceuticals, the false information, that goes into your neurons and makes you weak as well. So we've